This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to High School Whiz Quiz. We are so happy you can join us. We have some familiar faces. We have some teams returning to us tonight. We have Bath High School taking on Ada. And a little bit later in our second game, you're going to see Crestview face off against Pandora Gilboa. Let's introduce you to our players. Joining us from Bath High School, we have Vincent Abrams, Natalie Crow, Derek Inskeep, and Jemin Gandhi. And Bath is coached by Daniel Grimm. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Ada, we have Austin Ambergie, Jacob Colwell, Nathan Hurtig, and Theo Hardesty. Ada is coached by Dave Lusk. Welcome back, back to you gentlemen as well. They have a lot of fun. All right. We do want you to have fun in this game, okay? So just relax and enjoy yourselves. You kind of know the routine. We have our first round of 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Make sure you get those buzzers ready. When you answer, if it's a name, please be as complete as possible with your answer. And is everybody ready to go? All right, here we go. Question number one. What holiday is the third Sunday in June? Yes, that would be Bath. Father's Day. Father's Day is correct. What is it called when tons of snow slides down a sl Yes, that would be Bath. An avalanche. An avalanche is the answer. All right, question number three in this first round. How does a chameleon catch its food? Yes, Ada. With its tongue. With its tongue is the correct answer. What is the river that winds through Hell's Canyon in the northwestern U.S.? Yes, Bath. The Colorado River. Colorado is incorrect. So, Ada, you've got a chance with this one. Yes. The Columbia River. River. That is also incorrect. It's the Snake River. All right. Question number five. Who is the doctor who can speak with animals? Yes, that would be Bath. I do not know it. This is okay. All right, let's try Ada. You want to give it a shot? Dr. Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle is the correct answer. All right, question number six. Name the heaviest of the naturally occurring noble gases. Yes, Ada. Radon. Radon is the correct answer. All right, moving on now to number seven in this first round. Identify the weather condition in Southern California in which strong, hot, dust-bearing winds descend to the Pacific Coast. Yes, that would be Ada. Uh, El Nino. El Nino is incorrect. Beth, do you want me to complete this long question for you? Yes, yes please. All right. Identify the weather condition in Southern California in which strong, hot, dust-bearing winds descend to the Pacific coast around Los Angeles from inland desert regions. Yes. D a dust storm? That is incorrect. The answer is Santa Ana winds. Nice All right, question. you have three questions remaining in your first round. What teeth are used for grinding food? Yes, Bath. Molars. Molars is correct. What is the five letter word applied to a potato because it grows underground? Yes, Bath. Starch. Starch is incorrect. Ada, you want to try it? A tuber. Tuber is correct. And your final question in round one. Name the largest of the Great Lakes. Yes, Bath. Lake Superior. Lake Superior is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one. Here is our score, and we have a tie. Both teams with 40 points. We will be heading into rounds two and three after the break. Stay right there.
Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Kewpie Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, this is a big game, and it's a close one. We will find out the winner of who goes into our semifinal competition. The game right now being played by Bath and Ada High Schools. Here is our score. Bath, 40 points. Ada with 40 points. And a coin toss, we had uh, Bath winning that coin toss. They have decided to defer to Ada, so you will be leading this Second round, you have five questions worth five points apiece. Everybody ready here? Yes, all right, gentlemen, here we go. What is the show me state? Show me state. Show me, Indiana? No, that's for sure. Why do you guess the state? All right, time is up. The answer is Missouri. All right, question two. Name the 1939 novel by Steinbeck about a family of migrant workers. Grapes of Wrath. Yes. Grapes of Wrath. Grapes of Wrath is correct. What is equal to 0 .0394 inches? Centimeter. Yeah. Centimeter. Yes. Centimeter? Centimeter is incorrect. It's a millimeter. All right, two questions remaining in your second round. What is the White House's street address in Washington, D.C.? 1666. 1600. Yes. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. That is the correct answer. All right, here's your final question. What is the three-letter word that is at the end of the poem, Casey at the Bat? Hit. Yes. Hit. Hit is incorrect. Out is the answer. All right. Bath, everybody ready over here? Okay. Who was the first Russian president in 1992? Yes. Boris Yeltsin. That is the correct answer. What do authors experience that prevents them from writing? Yes. Writer's block. Writer's block is correct. What type of trees produce acorns? Yeah. Yes. Oak. Oak is correct. All right, you have two questions remaining in this round. Who designed the first successful steamboat? All right, our buzzer rang first. The answer is Robert Fulton. And your final question in the second round. What is an infant cat, an infant? Yeah, we'll have to throw that question out. And I'm going to go to another one because I almost gave you the answer. All right. In recent years, what is the day after Thanksgiving called? Yes. Black Friday. Black Friday is correct. All right, here is our score after two rounds. And it is still a tight race. Ada, 50 points. Bath with 60. Moving on to our final round. 10 questions again, teams. We're 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready. And again, make your answers as complete as possible. Name the capital city of the Czech Republic. Yes, Bath. Prague. Prague is correct. Name the long-tusked whales that live in the Arctic. Yes, Bath. Narwhals. Narwhals is the answer. Who was the Indy 500 Rookie of the Year in 1965? Whose son and grandson? Bath. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, Sr. That is incorrect. Ada, would you like me to complete this yes, question? Please. Yes. Who was the Indy 500 Rookie of the Year in 1965, whose son and grandson followed in his footsteps? Yes. Al Unser? That is also incorrect. It's Mario Andretti. Okay, question four in your final round. 
What was the middle name of songwriter James McCartney? Yes, that would be Bath. Paul. Paul is correct. Finish the title of this Douglas Adams book. So long and thanks for all the... Yes, that would be Ada. Fish. Fish is correct. All right, question six in this final round. Bipolar disorder is also referred to as what type of illness? Yes, Ada? Manic depressive. Manic de depressive is correct. Identify the speech delivered November 19th of 1863. Yes, Bath. The Gettysburg Address. You are correct. All right, we have three questions remaining in this game between Ada and Bath High Schools. What was a person called who wanted to put an end to slavery? Yes, Ada. Abolitionist. Abolitionist is correct. Name the 1950s modeling compound that you can find on toy shelves. Yes, Ada. Plaster of Paris. That is incorrect. Lego. Beth, you want to try it? Yes. A Lego. Also incorrect. Again, it's a modeling compound. It is Play-Doh. All right, your final question in your game. What character said he was born and bred in a briar patch? Yes, Ada. Friar Rabbit? That is incorrect. Bath, you want to try? Yes. Huckleberry Finn? That is also incorrect. It's Briar Rabbit. Okay, everybody exhale, and we have a winner. Ada, you have 80 points. Bath, 100. You will be moving on to our semifinals. Congratulations. Ada, well played again this year. Thank you, gentlemen, for being with us. Bath, congratulations. All right, we'll be back with our next game right after the break, so stay right there. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we just finished a nail biter between Bath and Ada High Schools. Bath will be moving on to the semifinals eventually to take on the winner of this game between Pandora Gilboa and Crestview. Let's introduce you to the players joining us. From Crestview, we have Vincent Adam, Colby Swagger, Hannah Bullion, and Tanner Myers. Crestview is coached by Sandy Grooms. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Pandora Gilboa, we have Emma Deitering, Jacob Suter, Caleb Shear, and Sid Norton. Pandora Gilboa is coached by Leo Recker and Joyce Suter. Welcome back to all of you, team. All right, here we go, our first round. Ten questions worth ten points apiece. You know the drill. We want to make sure that you answer as completely as possible, especially on names. And please speak up so that our judge can hear you as well as those playing with us at home. All right, here we go. Question number one. Where was Superman born? Yes, that would be Pandora. Krypton? Krypton is the answer. How many states border Ohio? Yes, Crestview? Five. Five is correct. What is boron's atomic number? Yes, Pandora. 17. That is incorrect. Crestview, you want to try? Yes. 46. 46 is also incorrect. Five is the answer. All right, question number four. On a ship, the other side of port is what? Yes, Crestview. Stern. 
I'm sorry? Stern. That is incorrect. Pandora, you want to try it? Yes. Starboard. Starboard is the answer there. All right, number five in this first round. Name the author of The Hobbit. Yes, Crestview. J.R.R. Tolkien. That is the correct answer. All right, question number six. Name the group of people that live simple lives driving buggies. Instead, yes, Pandora Gilboa. Amish. Amish is the answer there. Okay. All right, number seven. Name the popular ballet and concert suite by Tchaikovsky. Yes, that would be Pandora Gilboa. Swan Lake. Incorrect. All right, Crespo, you want to try? Yes. Nutcracker? Nutcracker is the answer. What city is home of the Liberty Bell? Yes, that would be Crestview. Philadelphia. Philadelphia is correct. Two questions remaining in round one. Identify the name given to the double cut screwdriver. Yes, Pandora. Phillips. Phillips is correct. And finally, who was the third president of the United States? Pandora. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of round one. I'm gonna check on the score now. It's a close one. Crestview with 40 points. Pandora Gilboa with 50. That means Pandora Gilboa, you will lead this round with five questions. All yours, five points apiece. Everybody ready? What is a double helix structure that can make exact copies of itself? Yes. DNA. DNA is the answer. Name the strong tendons at the back of the knee. Yes. The popliteal tendons? That is incorrect. It's the hamstrings. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, question three. Identify the inert gas used for balloons and starships and airships. Yes. Helium. Helium is correct. What is the figure of speech where contradictory expressions are used? Yes. Oxymoron. Oxymoron is correct. And you have one question remaining in the second round. Name the branch of surgery dealing with problems with bones and muscles. Right, the answer is orthopedics. Oh. Mm. All right, moving over to Crestview now for your five questions. Everybody set? Yep. Mm -hmm. Name Ohio's largest city. Columbus. Yes. Columbus. Columbus is correct. Name the city in Massachusetts where 19 so-called witches were hanged in 1692. Yes. Salem. Salem is the answer. Who shot John F. Kennedy in Dallas? Yes. Oswald. Could you complete his name? Lee Harvey. There you go, Lee Harvey Oswald. Name the Ohio State University track star who won four gold medals at the 1936 Summer Olympic Games. Yes. Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens is the answer. And here's your final question in round two. What do oologists collect? Yes. Rocks. Rocks is incorrect. The answer is bird eggs. All right, we have come to the end of our second round. Here is our score. Crestview, 60 points. Pandora Gilboa, 65. We'll be back with our final round of 10 questions right after the break. Don't go anywhere. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal.
All right, we are 10 questions away from setting our semifinal game. Right now, we know that Bath is going on, but um, we have five points separating these two teams right now. Pandora Gilboa with 65 points, Crestview with 60. Again, this is our final round. 10 questions, we're 10 points apiece. Everybody ready to go? All right. The Russian word DA means what in English? Yes, Pandora? Yes. Yes is correct. <laughs> what U.S. city lies at the head of the Niagara River? Crestview. Buffalo. Buffalo is correct. Name the U.S. passenger rail system created in 1971. Pandora. Um, the subway? Subway is incorrect. Crestview, you've got a chance to answer. The O? That is also incorrect. Amtrak is the answer. All right, question number four. Who has most often been associated with making the first American flag? Yes, Crestview. Betsy Ross. Betsy Ross is correct. What state is called the Constitution State? Crestview. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is incorrect. Pandora Gilboa, you want to try it? No. Yes. Connecticut. Connecticut is the correct answer. Name the pigment that makes red blood cells red. Yes, that would be Pandora. Oxygen. That is incorrect. Crestview, you've got a chance here. Yes. Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the answer. All right, question number seven. The Emancipation Proclamation was signed in which famous room? Yes, Crestview. The Oval Office. That is incorrect. Pandora Gilboa, you want to try? Sure. Yes. Liberty Hall. That is also incorrect. The Lincoln Bedroom is the answer. Okay, we have three questions remaining in this game. What document was signed in Philadelphia in 1776? Yes, Crestview. The Declaration of Independence. That is the correct answer. This C word refers to a friend or a communist. Yes, Crestview. Commie. Kami is incorrect. Pandora? Comrade. Comrade is the answer we're looking for. Okay, our final question in this game. Name the surface water sport that combines elements of surfing and sailing. Crestview. Parasailing. Parasailing is incorrect. Pandora, you can try it. Yes. Windsurfing. Windsurfing is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game. It has been a nail biter. And here is our final score. Crestview, 100 points. Pandora Gilboa, 105. Congratulations, you'll be moving on to the semifinals. Crestview, well played again this year. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching at home and playing along with us. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone.